Hello, my name is Steve Rochford and I work in IT support at Imperial College London and I'm going to talk to you about some of the things that the university has done to try and move from the system where we teach our students on campus in South Kensington in London and now they're all working from home scattered across the world and our lecturers similarly are all working from home. For some time we've been using a system called Panopto to record almost all of our lectures so that if a student misses a lecture or perhaps just didn't understand something during the lecture they can go online and watch the recordings of lectures. Normally that takes place in a lecture theatre but the software is designed so that it can be used on any computer anywhere so lecturers are now able to sit wherever they happen to be, teach as if they were in front of a class and the students can either watch live streaming or watch the recordings at an appropriate time because obviously with students all over the world 9 o'clock UK time may not be the right time for them to watch a lecture. So that's worked fairly well. Uh, Panopto is an international company their systems were put under huge strain when all universities started working like this but they've increased the capacity and it's worked well. We've also had a virtual learning environment called Blackboard which again has been in place for some years and has been used to distribute lecture notes, assessment exercises and so on and we've increased the use of that so that our students can get access to resources that they need. Our students normally would come into university to make use of what we call teaching clusters, rooms full of computers that the students can use. Those are open anything up to 24 hours a day so that students can work at a time that suits them. Obviously they can't come into campus any longer, we've shut the doors to keep people safe. So one of the things we've done working with a company called Labstats is make remote access possible. So a student can go to a website, pick the room that they'd normally work in, find out which computers are free, log on and use the software there. That's been really helpful for people who perhaps don't have a good computer at home or they have a Mac but the software they need is Windows. We've also had to move exams away from college. This is only just started this week, it's early days, but what we're doing is making the exam papers available online at the time an exam is due to start, and we have to make sure that students start the exams at the same time to try and keep it fair. They download the exam paper, they complete the exam paper, capture an image of it using Office Lens, upload the image, and it then gets marked. This has only just started, but so far we think it's going well. Because I work in IT, I've been able to work from home for some time, and typically I do it one or two days a week. So I have a reasonable setup with my laptop plugged into a couple of screens so I can easily work, and a reasonable desk space. I also work next to my balcony, so I can just step outside if I want to get a brush of fresh air. And today in London, is gloriously sunny.